Okay, you fellow retro MTB, vintage 80s, 90s, mountain bike collectors, riders. Now, this is a 1989 Nishiki, and I am building it up or restoring it with uh, mostly the original parts, but um, now this bike came with the XT2 Grupo, the beautiful group. You can see the sales brochures uh, online. They made these beautiful brochures. This was uh, state of the art, top of the line. And this bike came with the seven speed thumb shifter. So on this bike, you know, I'm putting those uh, M095 seven speed rapid fire plus shifter lever combos with servo wave because these, you know, I love thumb shifters too. I have thumb shifters on many bikes, but you know, these are basically still what we ride today. I mean, these hit so strong when, when, when these were released. I just love them. And, uh, that's why I put them on there. Anyway, so what are we talking about? Okay, the spring tension on the XT2 Grupo is incredibly stiff because they were mated with thumb shifters. Now, this works okay in the back. But the front derailleur routing on these early first generation Nishiki aliens was a disaster. They had the <coughs> cable run through here, tie into the top of the front derailleur and anchor way down at this fixing bolt and it creates an incredibly stiff front derailleur. Now I replaced this, the original XT2 Grupo, uh, the XT2 front derailleur because the spring tension on it is just bonkers stiff. So I don't even know what this is, some Shimano variant, um, but it's got much lighter action. And so what I did was run the housing down to the second under the down tube water bottle mount. Run yourself a road bike, you know, down tube uh, cable guide that we're all familiar with. You know, here we go. Boom. Chase that cable around the bottom bracket shell. Bolt on one of those jammers on that fixing bolt and then um, run yourself a bottom pull front derailleur. You know, I was thinking of mounting something up high, coming down with a top pole. That would have been fine too, but hey, if you have one of these, if you're one of the few, if you know, you know. So, um, right there. So, this is pretty clean. This is the cleanest solution that I have seen online. I could shorten that cable up a little bit and really get nasty on there. I see guys kind of run the housing all the way under the bottom bracket shell and zip tie it. You know, it's going to work. It's not going to feel so good. Um, with these rapid fire shifters, don't have a lot of wiggle room. Every cable's got to be tight. So there you go. I'm claiming the cleanest solution to the, to that, uh, cable routing. I've heard, uh, you know, uh, rumors of people putting a pulley on that little bolt, but I'm not, you know, the cable's got to stop somewhere to pull on that pulley. So man, you know, this is clean. I'm, that's why I'm the Klein King, you know, because my bikes are clean and we don't have any stiff shifter feel, any stiff front derailleurs. We go the extra mile. We get 
derailleur clamps that fit. We don't use shims. We are about the details. Um, you know, because this bike deserves it. Okay, thanks for watching.